Hey, Emily. Yeah. You know what I've been thinking about lately? What? Alan's Jeffers. Hmm. I used to love them as a kid. Yeah, me too. I still do. You talking about these? Hey! Give me. You know that'd be good? What? Jeffers for adults. Jaffa wine. Yeah. Hey. Now there's an idea. Hi guys, I'm Troy. And I'm Emily. And welcome to Aussie Homesteading. Today, Jaffa wine. Last time I, uh, we made this, we made 15 litres of orange wine. And in second fermentation, I put them into five, three five litre demijohns. And in one of them, we put in cocoa nibs. Now that five litres just it disappeared. I took some to uh, out to a barbecue and that bottle disappeared. Everyone tried it. Then so since that five litres disappeared so quickly today we're gonna make Jaffa wine full 15 litres up as Jaffa wine and hopefully it's going to last a little bit longer. So at least then we can give some to some people. So what we've got is we've got nine and a half kilos of oranges. We're going to use, we're going to simmer them on the stove in two litres of water. Then we're going to add, we'll start off, we'll add four kilos of sugar and we're going to add um, two tea bags. Now, tea bags to add that tannin feel, just that bit of bite. Oh, not bite. It's a bit of a dryness, puckiness in your mouth. Just sort of sets it off. And with the chocolate, it has a balance. <clears throat> You've got this smooth feeling from the chocolate. <laughs> And then the little bit of tang even. Yes. It gives the orange a bit of tang. It does. Just adds that bit extra mm. to the wine. Now, oranges have tannin in them, but we just want a little bit more. Mm. So, it's going to add two tea bags. Now, about a dozen sultanas, and we're going to top up a little bit with some uh, some orange juice. Oh no, yeah, yeah we are, yeah, yeah, sorry. And uh, got a wine yeast. Mm -hmm. So we'll cut up all these oranges and... Um, come back to you when we're putting them on the stove. Yep. Cool. Hi, uh, we've cut all the oranges into two saucepans. We're just going to add a litre of water to each pan just so they don't actually catch on the bottom and just to help it off. This is what nine and a half kilos of sliced oranges looks like. Two big stock pots. Okay, we'll just bring that up to the boil and um, We'll let it sit at boil for about five minutes. That'll help so start softening it and bring, bringing it down. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll show you what that looks like. And then we'll be adding the sugar um, and take you through each stage of the process step by step. See you in a sec. Yeah. Welcome back. Um, just going to show you the, pro the staging and processing of the oranges. Um, now, don't forget there was only a litre of water put into each of these pots. And I hope you can see, and the steam isn't a bother for you, but you can see that there's quite a lot of juice in there now. And I just keep pressing down the oranges as we go. Um, it's been boiling. Uh, it probably took about 10, 15 minutes. That depends on your stove, obviously, um, for it to hit, come up to boil. But um, it's been boiling now for about five minutes. And this is where I'm going to be adding the sugar into them now. Um, but I just wanted to say, you can 
Oh, um, add water more, you know, dilute this if you want to. That's up to you. When we first started um, with our very first one, long before we ever thought of turning orange wine into Jaffa wine, um, we'd add like a little bit more water and try and dilute it thinking we're going to get more wine at the end of the day out of this. However, you kind of get what you pay for. Um, it didn't have the full body richness that you're going to get just by using as pure a juice as you can and as pure a product as you can. It's going to make a much full bodied, um, higher quality of wine. So um, this is now what we do. This is the recipe that we do and we're limiting that dilution to the maximum point. I wouldn't have less than a litre of water in your pan though because you don't want that orange scorching on the bottom in the process of um, bringing it down like this. So um, that's our advice. If you want to dilute it, that's completely up to you. I'm not going to tell you not to. That's personal um, economy or perspective. However, to be honest, this recipe that we're showing you here today makes the most delectable, full-bodied, rich Jaffa wine in the world. Like, amazing. Anyway, right now, we're just going to add the sugar. I've already measured out um, the four kilos of sugar, and I'm just going to put half into each. And that's just at a guess at the moment. It's only just to be reducing um, the oranges down. And now we're just going to melt that sugar. Um, I'm going to be turning it off now and, um, you know, Troy will play with the sugar amount when he sets his ABV and all that. So all this is, is just getting that primary amount of sugar in there. And obviously, depending on each batch of oranges you get, um, where they've come from, what brand of oranges they are, or variety I should say, depends on the sugar content in that orange. So... Um, he'll play with that when the time comes. Um, once this is um, simmered, I'm probably now going to simmer it um, probably about 20 minutes, honestly. I'm going to turn it down into a medium heat and just simmer it now for about 20 minutes and then we'll bring you back and show you what we've got. Okay, friends, let's have a look. Our um, orange mash has simmered down the scent off of this is just incredibly citrusy orange it's just incredible I cannot even describe I don't know if you'll be able to see probably not in this light but all the little bits out of the orange a lot of these oh it's so hot I should be careful but um, they're just floating around in the water it's just I mean look you can probably see here you can see the thickness I hope um, all the bits of orange that have come out. And that's why we're boiling it down. We could have just put those oranges in uh, freshly cut. And we have done that in the past. Yeah, this is all trial and error stuff. This is, you know, you learn as you go. So um, by all means, this brings out an intensity of orange flavour that you would not get by just using pure orange juice, um, even freshly squeezed orange juice. Um, this is just incredible. Um, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this over to our table where the magic happens and um, turn this mash into some beautiful Jaffa wine. <laughs> okay, we're all set up at the table. Now, first thing to do Let's hydrate the yeast. Can I have some water, please? Yep. Now, so we're using Mangrove Jack's R56. It's a uh, premium wine yeast for rich, full-bodied red wines. And I think it goes really well with the um, orange wine that we're making. Well, Jaffa. Yes, this one's Jaffa. And while you're doing that, I will start our two tea bags soaking. Any good cup of tea needs to be soaked for three minutes to get that full richness. Okay. 
now. A little clumpy. Oh, hot. I was about to sing everybody jiggling, but that's Lipton. We're using bushels, so I better not. I'll just put that aside and let that um, permeate. Yep. Okay, so I'll keep doing this and you can get cracking the Okay. Now, you didn't use the whole sachet, did you? Or the whole sachet? Yeah, the whole sachet. Oh, okay. Yep. Yes. Yep. Just so we better clarify up. that, because sometimes you only put half. No, no, we're making more than... 10 litres, yep. so put in the whole one. Okay. Now this has all been pre-sterilised. Um, I have over here, just so Actually, we all know, yeah hang on, bucket. I'm just showing, I'm just lifting. We have our bucket of sterilisation, so everything is um, sterilised as we go. So, now, what we've got, I hope you can see this properly. Our lovely orange must there. Put that down. Hopefully I don't spill too much. So you see we're putting in all the orange peel, everything from uh, saucepans and we'll rack that in about a week and a half, two weeks? Three weeks. Three weeks? Three weeks. Oh, you grab that lid? How much did that come up to? Well, that came up to. I think that's 10, 12 litres. So we'll go. 15, 16, 14, 17, 12 litres. So we'll still add 6 litres of orange juice. Yeah. Okay. And that way, when we take out all the peels. We'll guarantee ourselves about 15 minutes. Yep. So we're using what? It's a golden circle uh, orange juice. What's the percentage? Doesn't say on this one. It'll be concentrated, re concentrated orange juice. Is it? Does it say? Why don't you pass me the Reconstituted 
And then when we give it a good mix, that temperature should just come right to. Now, so as I was saying before, we're going to have primary fermentation for about three weeks. Then we're going to rack off the orange peel and we'll have uh, secondary fermentation for about three weeks to a month, which because of the alcohol content, it's fine to sit there and secondary fermentation for that long? Yeah, the, nothing's going to go off. Nothing's going to go off. At that point, it's going to be high enough. Yeah. Mm. And then we're going to bottle it, and we're going to we're going to try it at three months of aging. Have another bottle at six months of aging, and try another bottle at twelve months of aging. And our last, we've only ever made Jaffa wine once before. Once before. Uh, the rest of the time, it was orange wine. Um, but having the other one went so fast, we when we started, like, yes, we had a sip of, we always have a sip of everything at bottling, just mm. to see. Um, and then kind of within a month, uh, we'll open a first bottle. And the, the thing is, because we only had five litres of that one, we go, oh, try this, we came up with this, we invented this, we're so proud, it's great, la, 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 and then it was gone. Yeah. So we didn't get a chance to really age it. No, they were all pretty well gone within like two or three weeks. Yeah, that's so right. So we really want, we're going to have three bottles put aside where we're going to go three month mark, six months, 12 months and really let it age. Yeah. And so our future ones, we know what the best aging for them is. Yeah. So, so now we're going to take a, a specific gravity reading. Uh, tap the... Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on. We didn't put the tea in yet. Otherwise, you'll just have to do it again, won't you? Yes. Sorry, I was just... daydreaming a little bit. Here we go. That's all right. We'll do the tea. Now, take the specific gravity reading. We just use a turkey baster because we find it easier to pick up the liquid. Uh, quite handy. And that should hopefully be enough. It's right. mm, looking good. Nice sweet oranges by the looks of it. So we've got a reading of 1.088 which will give us about 12% as you know these are sterilized so we can put this straight back And we have got, so we've got 20 litres. Now, before that, I'll uh, give it a really good mix to aerate it. Just to get some good air in there. And 
that should be well enough. Now the yeast. Thank you. Oh, oh the grapes. Let's pitch the yeast. You mean sultanas? Sultanas, yes. It's adding about a dozen sultanas. And just give these yeast just a little stir in. Now really, when making wine, like, sometimes we add a little bit of citric acid, acid. Yeah. you know, just out of your, out of the kitchen cupboard, we might add a bit of citric acid, but because this is citric wine, we're not adding anything like that because there's, a, citric acid is naturally formed in the, in the peel, so, um, that's why this one is quite, uh, in the primary fermentation, we're not adding all these bits and bobs into it because the oranges, not only do they have a reasonable contact of tannin, the, the citric the acid, citric acid well. we feel is covered just in the the natural um, citric acid that comes out of them. So, but we can make adjustments when we go and rack it for secondary fermentation. Yeah, if we're not happy, you could. Yes. So. Uh, yeah. So we'll probably see people in about three weeks. Yep. And, um, so check back in on this when we're putting it into secondary so please hit the like and subscribe button and that little bell and you'll get notifications as we upload the videos so you can see the racking and bottling in the future and mm -hmm. tasting too yum goodbye see ya Wait, I need to put the sticker on. Yep.